Hello, good evening, viewers. We are back. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. We have an amazing, amazing, amazing show coming to you tonight. Um, we have a very special guest. His name is Michael Anthony, and he is going to tell us all about a, a just completely innovative product that he has developed um, called Easy Flow. So we're going to dive into that in a little bit. Um, I just want to give everybody some time. I hope everybody had a nice, healthy holiday weekend, safe social distance parties this weekend. Um, got to see some people and have some huge contact. It's been, uh, it's, it's, it was beautiful weather here in New Jersey. So I hope where you guys all were, you had a nice, nice weather and a great holiday weekend. Um, we are so happy to be back this evening and getting back. This is episode, webisode 13, guys. I don't know how we've gotten here already. Um, if you're joining us, I am so excited to see you here. Give me a, a comment in the box uh, where you're viewing from tonight. And remember that you can click on the link that's in the um, comment box so that we can actually see who is on and watching with us. Um, Facebook doesn't let us just see your name on there. So it's much easier for us to talk and chat with you when we can see who's in there. So please click on that link. Um, so, oh, Nicole is, Noelle is here with us. Nicole is here with us. Thanks for joining. Throw in the chat box where you're viewing from. Guys, we have a great, great show in store for you tonight. I am so excited to get into this. We are gonna be talking about Easy Flow, which is really such a revolutionary device and so necessary for us right now um, as, as dental hygienists and clinicians dealing with all this new PPE and having trouble breathing. The song No Air is so appropriate right now for what we're dealing with in clinical. It is tough times for us right now. So please let me know where you're joining from. We are so excited to have you here and so excited to introduce you to Michael Anthony, the CEO of Easy Flow. And he is going to tell us all about this. So we're going to we're going to get right in. I am going to introduce Michael Anthony to everyone. Hey Michael, thanks so much Hello. for being here with us. We are so excited to talk with you tonight. I just want to give our guests a little background and let them know um, about you. Uh, you are an American entrepreneur and a philanthropist who invented Easy Flow Portable Air Purifier. And tell me a little bit about how this happened. How did you get into this? Well, thanks for having me, Melissa. Um, I started, uh, I was a bond broker for 20 years and I sold my business back in 2002 and decided to retire, moved to Naples, Florida and golf. And uh, uh, quickly I found out all my real friends were working all day and my new friends were 80. So I, uh, I started uh, looking for ways to make a difference in the world. And uh, I joined the Habitat for Humanity Global Village in Southeast Asia as a team leader. So my first build in, in Bangkok, uh, you know, it was in a really bad part of town. It was uh, um, a heat wave going on. It was 110 degrees. And then we were working next to an open sewer. And uh, the, the smell was just horrific. So they gave us respirators to wear while we were working. Well, with the heat and uh, uh, the smell, we, we'd touch our mask all the time. They'd get moist, dirt. And within five minutes, our masks were just filthy. And uh, so after a while, it was just so uncomfortable. We just threw them away. We'd rather smell the sewer. So I knew there was a problem with, with respirators on a very early age. Uh, and then as I continued working in Southeast Asia, I noticed the air pollution. The air pollution was just terrible. I mean, you could land in Beijing and you couldn't even see your wheels touch. That's how bad it was. It was so thick. Wow. And, and, I couldn't believe people were living in this. So I knew there'd be a solution to it if you could just get some fresh air into that mask and uh, filter out all the bad 
particulate matter that goes into your lungs. I, I did a little research. I found out almost 5,000 people a day die directly from air pollution in China and even more in India. So I was sitting with a uh, fellow Habitat Build uh, representative and after a build, we were talking about the problem and uh, he was a professor at ASU and he invited me to ASU to meet with their engineering department to try to take my idea of a positive airflow to a mask of filtered air and see if they would take it as a capstone project with their school of engineering. So they accepted me. Uh, we had about 50 of their best engineers have to do it for their senior project in order to graduate. And they eventually just built my first prototype. Uh, it was a very industrial type unit with uh, you know, a big screw on uh, um, Honeywell filter, but very effective. We saw how it worked and how it took away some of the, the consequences of wearing a respirator away. From there, uh, we moved on and tried to uh, make it a little more consumer friendly. My goal was to make it the size of an iPhone and uh, something that, and affordable, so something everyone could use. Uh, some of the challenges we had were uh, pushing air through a tube without a compressor. I didn't realize how heavy air was. So I went to, a, uh, I, I knew a, a off the shelf type fan wasn't gonna work for me. So I went to an aeronautical engineer in Beijing and he taught me how to pitch the fans a certain way. My goal was to make it so strong you had to turn it down. So that was almost good enough, but not good enough for me. Uh, then we added ball bearings to the fan to make it spin faster and that did the trick. So we had ended up having three speeds because it was so strong. Uh, then I knew it had to last a whole shift for people. Uh, you know, if you're a traffic cop or whatever you are, you need to work eight hours. So we ended up, long story short, we uh, ended up with the same technology they use in Tesla. So we get the long life out of our battery and still have a very small unit uh, and still strong enough to push the fan. And then the last phase was making it uh, consumer friendly. That's where our eight colors come in. and. Uh, you know, people, I don't know why, but people will wait to buy it until a certain color comes in. It's the same machine. So, uh, but, you know, you got to, you got to hit all, all aspects of it to really make it successful. Absolutely. And I did, I was looking at your website and it is, it's, it's, I love the options that you have and you can color coordinate, like for us, we can color coordinate with our scrubs or what have you. So it's, you've really thought of everything with this, but what I absolutely love about your story is how it, like this was born out of your giving back to community and, and just that you saw a problem and you really attacked that. And I think that that's absolutely amazing. And I just want to commend you for that. Like that is, just well, so, so cool. I love I, that. I, I'm not the greatest businessman. I get in these little schools in China in the middle of the countryside, and uh, I see these little kids who need these, but they can't afford them. And I end up giving away more than I sell. So I get yelled at a lot <laughs> by my family and other associates. So it's, uh, uh, it, again, it's it's trying to help as many people breathe is, is the main goal. And and, uh, you know, I, I have all the patents and everything, but I really don't care if I get competition. It's just more people breathing fresh air. Uh, yeah. So it, it's a different approach to business, but uh, it, it's worked. So why don't you tell us a little bit about, um, you know, the dangers that occur with wearing a mask? We are all dealing with this as we've gone back to work clinically, we've always worn um, surgical level masks, but now that with dealing with COVID, we're wearing the N95 respirators, which are very different, very taxing on our bodies. Um, a lot of clinicians are having trouble breathing. A lot of clinicians are complaining of headaches. Um, and that's just a little bit of what's going on right now. So um, tell me about the history of easy flow and the danger, not so much the history of easy flow, but the dangers of wearing a mask and how easy flow can really help us deal with one of these issues that have been born from COVID-19. Uh, well, well, first of all, being a dental hygienist, people don't really realize this, but if you don't, I, I, I get my teeth cleaned three, three, three times a year, minimum. Uh, people don't realize that 
if you don't take care of your teeth, you're going to have a lot more problems than just teeth. You could have the bacteria go into your bloodstream and cause blood clots and strokes and cardiovascular disease. Uh, it it's, um, can cause dementia. It can cause, uh, especially for high risk people, uh, you know, like diabetes. It's very dangerous to not take good care of your mouth. So, Michael, uh, I, have just, to, I just have to say to you, <laughs> I, I had to put myself back in the street because as you're saying this, you just made my heart explode because I'm so happy that you're so educated on this because sometimes our colleagues don't even understand or know what you're saying. So the fact that you've made this connection is just, I, I preach your dental professionals that they've done a good job and they have educated you. Or if you've just gone ahead and educated yourself on it, I commend you. So hashtag in the chat box, um, this guy knows his stuff. <laughs> I, I'm just very, well, very happy to hear you that, say that. You're, you're vital, essential workers on the front line. And uh, on top of that, uh, it, it's probably one of the most dangerous jobs in America or in the world right now uh, with things flying out of people's mouth. And it, I, I kind of equate it to like storming the beaches of Normandy. I mean, you don't know if you're going to, what's going to hit you. And, uh, so it's an admirable job right now, but I can understand why people don't want to go to work uh, unless they have the right protection. So yeah, it's very scary. In essence, in essence, uh, probably some of the biggest problems you're having is a reduced oxygen level, which can make you pass out. Uh, nausea, headaches, uh, anxiety. These are just a few of the psychological problems. Uh, just. You know, we had someone down here in Naples the other day. They were wearing a mask where they were driving, and they passed out and crashed. Uh, oh so God. wearing a mask is, is a challenge right now. Um, and finding a solution is, is what I think Easy Flow's done. And uh, not just for air pollution, but for the other 8 billion people in the world uh, who have to wear a respirator right now, especially those That's who have to wear it all day long. Right, right. And that's what we're experiencing. First off, I just have to tell you that um, Anissa has joined us and she just said, you demand. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and um, I want it's, uh, viewers in the chat box, just if you've been experiencing since wearing your N95 respirator, um, please put in the chat box what you the, the different things that you've been feeling. Are you getting headaches? Are you having a hard time breathing? Share with us what's been going on so that um, we, we all have an understanding. First off, we know we're all in this together, but, um, and, and we understand that this is a tough time, but like this is a way that Michael's product is a solution so that we can take one less stress off of our backs while we're clinically treating our patients. Because right now it's, it's tough. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of new protocol and procedure and it's really hard. So this, your product is definitely helping eliminate these dangers of, of wearing these respirator masks? Well, it seems like uh, I would say 30, 40% of my customers are in the dental field, hygienists and dentists. Uh, it started out mostly ICU nurses, uh, but it's really switched to dental hygienists. So it, it's, they're the ones who understand why you need it. Absolutely. We definitely do. So where do you get your air from when you're wearing a respirator? You know, that, that, that's a good question, Melissa. Uh, when you're wearing a respirator, everybody thinks, oh, you have to have it fit tested and it has to be really tight. And uh, uh, if it was completely 100% sealed on your face, you'd suffocate and die. Okay. The, where you're getting your air is through the gaps on the side of the mask and through the top. Wherever there's a gap is where you're getting your air. An average N95 has 10% leakage. If it didn't, you, you, you couldn't wear it. So uh, essentially, you're breathing the air from outside. Now, with Easy Flow, what we're doing is we're putting filtered air directly into your mouth, uh, a positive airflow. So it's pushing that bad air out the gaps that it was coming in. So in essence, what would you rather breathe? The air outside or filtered air? It's I would a pretty like easy filtered answer. air. Hashtag filtered <laughs> air, if you agree with me. <laughs> right, we use a, uh, a 3M HEPA 13 filter. 
which filters down to 0.3 microns, but it's the positive airflow uh, that get, allows you to breathe. And the, the main problem, I mean, no one's going to stop COVID 100%. I mean, if you want something safe, there is no such thing. Uh, safe uh, insinuates absolute. And really, it's just about mitigation to make it safer. Uh, there's no absolute safe. You can't stop people from not washing their hands or touching their nose and eyes and, and uh, mouth. Uh, you know, you just want to apply as much mitigation as you can. Uh, and my mitigation by uh, allowing you to breathe takes away the headaches and the dizziness and the claustrophobia and the exhaustion and the, the mental fatigue uh, that people are experienced by having to wear all this equipment, especially an N95. Absolutely. And I, I've i said it before, I'll say it again, our job was tough before all this. So now it's it's even more uh, challenging. Um, so we just actually had a great question Maureen had put in the chat box. Um, then why get a fit test if air is getting in? Do you have some input on that? Well, it, it is a good question. But if, if, if air is not getting in, you're not breathing, unless you're breathing your own carbon monoxide which is, you, you know, the, the results of that. You're just going to pass out. Uh, the, my device, I, I don't really sell a mask. I give you a mask in my kit so the kit's complete. But my mm -hmm. device was made, I was careful not to invent a mask because uh, everyone has their own favorite mask. And there's so many regulations with the FDA and NIOSH and everything where they require you to wear a NIOSH or FDA approved mask. So my device makes your mask more right. effective. Okay, uh, you can attach it. You can attach it directly to the mask uh, with the tube, or I have a little uh, magnet piece here that you can um, uh, slip under your mask where there is leakage and add that positive airflow. The other thing is your device, which sucks in the air, that uh, the Easy Flow device itself. You, when you're when you're working on someone their water droplets are going right at your face. But that device yeah. that's pumping in the clean air can be situated at a social distance. Uh, it could be clipped to the back of your pants uh, um, or flipped around your back with a lanyard so you can wear it on your back. So the device, in, in addition to filtering the air, was, is away, away from the direct path of all the danger. That's that's such a great point. And we can would we be able to keep it underneath our jacket, like between our scrubs and jacket, so it's actually not even exposed, or would it not work properly that way? It it's all right too. Uh if you can get if it can get air, if you have a loose, loose fitting outfit where it can get air, as long as you don't block the entrance to the uh the intake, uh you can put it under clothing and add an extra layer of protection. Again, just more risk mitigation. Yeah, absolutely. I like that. That's a great point. Cause like, like you said, with safety, you know, we would, we'd all like to be safe and know that everything we're doing is safe, but you know, it's, it's really about right now, it's about the mitigation. And as we, you know, collect more data and have more evidence to show us what we need to do and the best practices to be managing uh, this, this virus um, mitigation is really, I think what we need to be focusing on. And um I just love how your product really is is helping us with that. So we're going to well, move on to go ahead. the next slide. Um, no, go ahead. What were you going to say next? Well, you know, the, the main reason people wear a mask, and, and this goes back to like 1918 during the Spanish flu or the influenza, and it was a sign of respect to others that you don't give them your germs. It wasn't to protect you. It was to prevent others from giving your germs. And to this day in Southeast Asia, and especially Japan, people still wear a mask to show respect if they're in a tight quarters on a subway or wherever it may be. It's a sign of respect to others. Uh, but Easy Flow can actually turn your mask into a, a way of protecting yourself, not just protecting others, but protecting yourself. I love that you say that because that's 
that that's a whole nother like political topic right now with like invasion of your rights with wearing masks and stuff. But it's really about, you know, just making sure that we're, we're protecting each other, you know, but like you protect yourself with this clean flow of air in there. And I think that that's such yeah. an important fact for us and what we do every day. If you look at the rest of the world, they pretty much got COVID. But uh, aside from Brazil, maybe, and, and a few other hotspots, but, uh, you know, a, a mask was, people have cooperated and they've all worn masks and they brought their levels of infection down considerably. Uh, Thailand went 16 days in a row without a single case. I mean, that's some cooperation amongst their citizens all wearing a mask. Uh, America, you're right, has politicized it and, uh, we're seeing the consequences of that. If everyone would just wear a mask, we could be with the rest of the world. And uh, so we, we, we really have to spread that word to just, it's a sign of respect to others. Absolutely. So it's definitely a, a very hopeful thing for us in our profession, doing these long shifts, wearing these N95 respirators. So now we can have this clean filtered air coming in. Um, we're seeing it also, like you said, in the hospital settings, a lot of, uh, you know, same PPE that they've been wearing. And now as just across the nation, people are wearing masks more in their day-to-day -day activities. Um, this is a great thing to raise awareness just to, you know, everyone to be able to have this ability to protect each other, but then protect ourselves. Um, is there ways that you are, you know, sharing this not only with the dental industry, are there other industries that you're sharing your product and your innovation with? There are, there are many industries, uh, the construction industry, um, transportation. Now it's mandatory. You wear a mask on the plane. Could you imagine being on a flight for 15 hours and have to wear a respirator the whole time? Uh, Definitely. it's, uh, it, it's it's invaluable. You get on a subway in New York City, uh, you're going to be in tight quarters with people. So anywhere in any profession, you have to wear a mask. But it's not just any profession. It's everybody, uh, your average ma and pa have to go to the grocery store. Uh, you know, you have to go out and still uh, survive in this environment. You can't just stay home and have your food delivered. Uh, it, it's hard to do. Everybody has to get out and go to the store and buy their products. And uh, so it, it can be used by anybody right now. I don't think there's ever been a time or ever been a product in the world that all 8 billion of us need right now. And, uh, and that's a respirator. We all need a respirator right now. And uh, so it's, uh, it, it, it's a very important thing that we become if we have to wear them all day, let's get rid of the side effects and be more comfortable wearing it. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Um, so let's talk a little bit about um, what do you propose the solutions are for wearing masks right now? Um, what do you well, think that, you know, we, we have this new way of life. What do you think that we should be working on and doing? Well, you know, if you didn't have an easy flow, uh, the solution is, you know, hydrate, uh, you know, take a lot of breaks and, uh, you know, eat the right food and uh, avoid, you know, uh, moisture robbing snacks and things like that. Uh, but with Easy Flow, it, it, it's solving a lot of those problems. Uh, you know, uh, the, the people telling you this are, aren't really aware of Easy Flow yet. Uh, I've been afraid to advertise until my production was up fast enough where I could handle the volume. We've grown organically uh, through word of mouth. Just now I'm starting to get my production. I'm, I'm doing about 10,000 units a week, uh, but wow. the demand is millions a week. So uh, there's a lot to that when you are when you have a factory. I have my own factory and uh, uh, it's it scaling up to the demand. How do you scale up to demand for 8 billion people? Uh, how do you do that? I don't know. It's It's... Uh, so I've been focusing on the people who need it the most, uh, people, dentists, ICU, um, you know, uh, people in the medical field. Those are the ones I've been focusing on. And, and you start from the most important people first, and then you work your, 
the way down to others is, is the only approach I can really take with such a demand for my product. Absolutely. And I, I definitely, I appreciate so much you focusing on our profession in particular, because um, Tammy is just commenting in our chat box right now. Um, she brings a great reality point to this is that breaks are far and few between right now. And that that's really because of us being out for the period of time that we were, we have such patient volume that we have to catch up on. So between the, um, the schedule being really busy and then doing all these new protocols in between patients and the extra screenings and the extra PPE and the waiting to break down the rooms and the extra steps in that we're starting to do in a COVID world, it's really hard to be able to take those breaks when we're wearing the traditional masks. So again, this just is another reason why your product in particular helps us be able to do our job in a way that we're, you know, just breathing and safe well, we, and in a physical state while doing that. So I think that that's great. We're starting to do a little more testing and uh, we found that it actually brings the temperature down one degrees, my unit. So you're getting a little cooler air going in there, not only fresh uh, filtered air, but it's actually even cooler by one degrees. So uh, I am you know, so sure that my colleagues are happy to hear you say that because hashtag in the chat box, how many are you, how many of you are dying and sweating and all that PPE? How hot is it up in there? So to have some cool, almost like air conditioned water uh, air coming in is going to be amazing. It's going to help reduce that too. So that's another, another point where your product is actually solving an, another issue. Yeah, I've, I've had uh, women tell me they use it in church. They put it under their blouse in church. But now they're using an easy flow. So there's so many <laughs> different ways that, that I'm seeing people use it. And they're all they're all fun. They're all nice. And, uh, but Has, the, the most serious yeah, ones are... are yeah. yeah, Anissa just said she is dying. It's like death. In, in all the heat there, which is, you know, the, like I said to you before, dental hygiene profession, what we do is tough work. It's very physical. It's very demanding. Um, and this, this is just making it even more challenging for us. Tammy just hashtagged claustrophobic. Um, and Anissa said she already ordered one of your products. So she's going to be having some relief very soon. I'm happy for you, Anissa. That's good. Did she use our uh, discount code? Well, we didn't announce it yet, so I don't think she well, got we need to. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna do that when we get towards the end of our show. Um, I have a few other things that I wanted to talk to you about. Let's get into. Um, let me just make this slide a little bit bigger so our viewers can see that. So let's get into the components and let's kind of break down the filter and how this works. Like if we just ordered one and we had to put this all together, can you kind of step me through how that would, how that would go? Sure. Well, there's uh, you know, the kit comes complete with everything. So you don't need to buy any of the accessories unless you're, you know, have the unit and you need extra filters or mask or you uh, rip a cord or, lose a magnet or something like that but uh uh the the unit itself the little uh colored plate will just slip right off and then the filter to the right of it there uh will just be you know it's like an air conditioner filter you can look at it and see if it's dirty or if airflow is restricted you know it's time to change your filter you can probably get a couple weeks out of it in a, in a best case scenario uh but you know, I've had a lot of people be creative with the filters. Uh, like I had some nurses in Beijing, they would pull them out at night and they'd spray them really lightly with some alcohol. And that would kill all the bacteria. They'd let it dry overnight and put it in, get a little more use out of it. But in normal circumstances, in a developed country like ours, I would change them at least every two weeks in, in, a, in a sanitary uh, uh, environment, uh, like a hospital. Or uh, you know, I, I don't even know if you call it the dentist office what you guys are doing in a sanitary environment it's almost like a, a blood bath in there but it's uh, debatable. Um, yeah, you, it's you debatable. might want to change it you might want to change it more than every two weeks uh, there's two ways to wear it one is directly you cut a little hole in your mask and you uh, work that work the hose in there 
And then there's a plastic connector piece that just clips on. It's a little patented uh, thing I developed. Uh, so it, and, it, and it is really tight seal on your mask. I mean, like it was built into your mask if you do it right. Uh, the other one is a, a very strong magnet clip. Uh, my favorite's direct to the mask, but about 70% of uh, hygienists are wearing it with the magnet clip. They find that the most effective for them because they can uh, hide the hose more where it's not as visible to their clients. Um, mm -hmm. and it's a very strong magnet. I worked on this one for a long time to get the magnet right. Uh, I, I include a lanyard. Uh, I include a, a, a KN95 or an N95 or a 3M quality mask. So you have a mask. Uh, the tubing also, uh, the main tube has the same side on, same uh, opening on both sides. And then the extension tube, in case you're tall or you want to wrap it around a certain way, uh, has a, a small side on one and a large on the other. So you just put the small side into one of the others and you can make your uh, cord twice as long. So it, it comes complete. You really don't need anything but the kit until you want to buy. You may want to buy some additional filters. You don't have to buy them again. But uh, I, I made sure the kit came complete so you didn't have to mess around with anything else. That's great. And as far as the tubing goes, is there any maintenance that would need to be done with the tubing as well? Well, it's medical grade tubing. Uh, it's very lightweight. I would suggest washing it with any disinfectant or soap and water. Let it soak in soap and water. If you have one of those so clean machines like uh, the CPAP uh, has, you could use that and sanitize it. But remember that the air going through the tube is filtered already, so it's very clean inside. Okay. But you know, it, but it, it could get dirty outside. It, you know, in your environment, you want to probably wash your tube every day. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Just the exposure and being in the room. Um, right. what, what are the ratings on the filter? The rating is a, it's, it's three M paper, a HEPA 13, which is one of the highest ratings. And again, it filters down to 0.3 microns. That's great. And you, you, you and couple that just... with a NIOSH approved mask and you're are as compliant as you could be. Absolutely. Um, and then how, so we said the filter, you could probably get about two weeks out of it. Um, and then how long will the device stay charged for exactly? I know you had mentioned earlier that you knew it needed to get through eight hours of the day. How long is the charging? Well, you probably, if you're wearing it all day long, you'll probably be wearing it on low, medium at the most. And, and you should get a good eight hours out of it. Uh, I've, I've had people get as many as 14 hours out of it. Um, and then on high, you may get less. You may get six, four to four to six hours. But uh, you, you'll find that once you get used to it and you figure out how to position it right, low is more than adequate amount of air for you. Um, you know, if you get a little more stress, take it up a notch and uh, it, it'll give you a little more air. Gotcha. Okay, great. And um, the product is made right here in the USA too. No, uh, no? it's like the other day. The other day, somebody asked me. They go, uh, "Is your uh, where's a KN95 mask? You know, what's the difference between a KN95 and a, and a N95 mask?" I said, "Well, a KN95 mask is made in China. An N95 mask is made in China." <laughs> 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 almost everything's made in china if i made my product here and i have my own factory no one else makes it for me my own people my own factory we're like a family over there and uh but if some if i went i took it to a a, a, a medical supply company here in the united states and asked them how much it would cost to make it it would cost a hundred dollars to make my machine here uh and the reason is tooling uh tooling and accessibility in Shenzhen, china where i am it's the manufacturing capital of the world meaning i have 19 different suppliers on my product and they're all within five miles of each other if you can name a city in america that is a manufacturing capital i i would give it a shot but uh we're, we're so spread out in america and it's so logistics wise hard to make my product 
in America. The tooling alone would probably be three hundred thousand dollars for each piece, whereas in China oh it's God. thirty thousand dollars, and they're better at. It. So uh, you know, you hear a lot yeah. of you know, oh, it's in China, it's in the but you don't understand if if the cure for cancer came from china would you take it of course you would you know it's uh of course. It, it's Absolutely. these people are, they're, they're professionals and they make a product that we can afford and they and they do it with quality and and i oversee the whole operation so it's 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 a very very slick operation and we, we we're into quality we we, we uh, our components as i told you we made ourselves so it's kind of a, a poo-poo platter of the best components you could find to make this product. And uh, we, did, we, we uh, do such volume, we can try to keep the price down as much as we can. If we made it in America, it'd be impossible. Uh, right now, they're trying to make it more impossible on me. Our leader has put a 25% tariff on our product. So, yeah. uh, and, but I've eaten <laughs> it. I, I won't raise my price above a hundred dollars, even if I have to pay ninety for it. You know, it's uh, well, uh it, that's it, something I that that's the I, charitable part of my company. So, and I wanted to co comment on that that I very much appreciate that because you keeping it like everything that you shared that's amazing information, but you keeping it at that price point so that more people it's affordable more people can use it and that's the part of it that i am very it's it's just amazing that you do that and to hear the whole business background of that you know we don't always understand that in in our clinical realm so and a lot of things in dentistry like hashtag in the comment box it's dentistry is so expensive like everything is just so costly so you know, for you to explain all of that, it really makes a lot of sense. But we, as a profession, appreciate the fact that you make such a, a high quality product, but you keep it affordable so that it gets in the hands of people who really need it and can use it. Like these wonderful people that are up on the screen, um, all of the different, you know, medical personnel that have been able to utilize your product and now dentistry really getting to be able to know that your product is there and how helpful it is for us. It, that's, that's the amazing part of what you're doing by making it that way. So I thank you for that. I wasn't uh, digging ditches in Southeast Asia in the ghettos for 10 years to get rich. And, and, and <laughs> I didn't make easy flow for the same reason. So uh, I, I think if someone else probably made it, they'd be charging two seventy nine ninety nine or something like that. But uh, they, we're not in this to get rich. We're in it to help people. And uh, that's the unique aspect of our company. Well, that's, that's, is amazing and unique. And I love that your mission um, on your website, your mission says saving lives one breath at a time and it, everything you've been sharing with us, just it, you're really cohesive with that mission. And I, for one, am very appreciative of that because there's, there's a lot that you, you see that, and, and we are experiencing this in, in the dental profession right now. And we're going to get into this. This is a little bit of an early segue to our next show but there's a difference between the business of dentistry and doing what's right so you do what's right michael and i just want to say thank you for that and and we're going to repeat that you demand hashtag because you are the man <laughs> that you know it's very honorable and commendable what you're doing and i just wanted to rate you know let everybody know that i think that that's amazing and you're changing the lives in a positive way for all of the healthcare professionals and beyond that um, because people are struggling right now just doing their job and and to have that extra level of stress just having to go to work is is really tough. So you take a bit of that stress away. And I think that that's very honorable. And I thank you very much for developing such an awesome product. Well, I, I think that's been part of our success growing organically. Uh, just word of mouth and uh, not going out there and advertising on TV or anything like that. Uh, I, I want people who use my product to promote it, not people, not promote my product for people to use. So uh, I think that's been part of our success. It's, you know, what? it's amazing because it's like when your heart is aligned with something, all of the rest just seems to fall into place. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I just want to welcome Kim. She just joined us. I saw Patty, uh, Patty DeGangi is on here. Hi, everybody. So happy that you're joining us tonight and you get to learn about this amazing, innovative product. Michael, what I want to do right now is you have that uh, video. I'd like to show that to our viewers. Okay. 
This way they can get a little more information on how this works. One day I had a debate with one of the other nurses at work about how the air we breathe gets into our respirators. She recently found out that our respirators really only filtered air going out, but not the air coming in. In fact, inhaled air enters through gaps in the sides of the respirators rather than through the respirator itself. Then I wondered, since my teenage son works at a supermarket after school, but my husband stays home with work and our younger daughter, are my son and I exposing them mm -hmm. to germs and sickness? Then I heard about EasyFlow. EasyFlow is an amazing new device which actually filters outside air and feeds fresh air right into your N95 respirator. It can be directly attached to your respirator with a plastic connector piece or worn with a very strong magnet device. The magnet nozzle even has a wick, which can be used as a diffuser for essential oils. The kit comes complete with an easy flow device and all these extensions. I bought one for myself and one for my son. What a lifesaver. Easy flow makes me feel safer and more comfortable while wearing a respirator all day long. So tell me more about the wick and how we can utilize that with the essential oils. You know, when we when I invented this thing, I, I thought, wow, we could even have flavor there. And I didn't really know much about essential oils and uh, uh, that whole business. But now I have essential oil companies buying it to use as a diffuser. So, uh, you know, you could put a little drop of lemon flavor on it or strawberry or uh, you know, peppermint or whatever, uh, and add a little spice to your mask there, you know, or add a, a, your favorite flavor to your mask. I, I think it was, uh, it was one of my engineers who thought of that. And I, I, I'll take credit for it, but it wasn't me. It's a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> it's a great it idea. Is, so, I love it. And it was easy to add to it. You know, our, our little, uh, nozzles or, uh, like I said, uh, our, our, our pieces to, uh, the easy flow are very cheap uh um to to replace i mean some of the surgeons who use I, I didn't realize that a surgeon changes his mask every 15 minutes during an operation and i had a dr fiscal in the uh, university of miami and dr marks they're wearing it in surgery and they didn't change their mask once uh so uh what they're doing though they do throw the tube away when they're done with surgery and just put a new one on the next surgery so it's cheap enough that you could do that if you had to. I try to keep my prices down on all my accessories the same way. And uh, so if you're in a really highly contagious arena, which you are, you could you could do that if you had to. And still yeah, that was my be thought. cost effective. Yeah. That was my thought when I was asking you earlier about the tubing too, just thinking about our environment and you know some of the things that could happen during treatment, even if you do angle it more away from you and clip it to the right. side, still, you know, exposures that happen. Um, hey, I just wanted to welcome Jessica. She's here watching us. And Paulina said, good to know about this product. Thank you. Um, and, and back to the essential oils too. I know that there's, um, I like to use stress away myself. So if I could put a little stress away in there and go about my work day, I'll be more zen while I'm working, which would be amazing. Um, we have another great video um, somebody did a TikTok review of your product. So I'm going to put this one in the stream. I wanted to share this as well. Uh, let me just get over here and then we'll pop this one on too. Tell me how I'm supposed to be with no
That is so cool. I was uh, jamming out to the that, song while it was going. <laughs> that, that video um, got over 300,000 hits. And uh, wow. it, it, it literally helped put us on the map. Uh, and I, I don't even know who the girl is, but uh, she really did a lot for my business. And if she's watching, wow. thank you. <laughs> we got to track her down. Yeah. So yeah. why don't we um, announce to everyone the, I'm going to take us off so we can see this. We're going to let everybody know about our coupon code and then we'll take some questions from the audience. So uh, while you're sharing the coupon code with everybody, please go in the chat box and uh, put any questions that you have for Michael before um, we're done with our broadcast this evening so he can answer your particular questions about using his device in private practice or in wherever practice you are, even going to the grocery store. Um, so Michael was kind enough to give us a code for our viewers, even though our buddy Anissa got, she, she said she went on Amazon, she couldn't wait, she was impatient girl. Um, but uh, they were nice enough to give a coupon code out to all of you viewers. If you would like to purchase an easy flow, it is a DH10 at the checkout to get a 10% off of your order. So thank you so much, Michael, for developing that code for us and just everything that you do for our community and with this product. And I, I just absolutely love your innovation and the story behind it. And um, I'm just so grateful that you came on to share this with us. Thank you so much. Oh, it's my pleasure. Is there any um, last bits of information that you think that um, you wanna share with our community or any other things about Easy Flow that you would like our users to know or to share with their uh, their <clears throat> doctors at their offices as well. Well, we want to we want to advocate everyone wear a mask and uh, how important it is to get this COVID under control. Uh, you know, I'm hearing stories from economists that are saying it's we're not going to be back to last December way of lifestyle till 2028, and, that, and that's oh unacceptable. <laughs> You know, that's yeah. unacceptable. And, and it's so simple just to wear a mask. If we wear a mask, we're going to get back to the levels uh, all the other developed countries are getting to right now. And uh, um, we got to keep it out of politics and explain to people that wearing a mask is a sign of respect. And it's a sign of, hey, we're all in this together. And we want to we want to fix it. I want to be put out of business. OK, that's what we need to do. Um, but at the same time, there are one in eight people work in the healthcare industry, and they have to wear a respirator even before COVID. So maybe my product will stick with them, and uh, that would be great too. But uh, let's just advocate together. Everybody wear a mask. It's the right thing to do. It means you love everyone. And uh, when you wear a mask, we're sharing love with each other. We're, we're in this together. And that, that's our main, that's our main message that. out there right now. Yes, it is. It's all about sharing the love and doing for each other and being respectful of each other. And I love that you shared that cultural portion of that, that wearing a mask is a sign of respect in other countries. And I think that we're a little lacking over here in America with that. And it would be a really nice thing to see come out of this pandemic that that we just show more respect for each other and show love for each other. Um, Tammy just posted a question. She's wondering if and how the outside of the tubing can be disinfected. Um, that like you were just mentioning with the surgeons disposing of the tubing, but that was one of the things that, you know, for us and being into that environment to, um, you know, should, would we be able to wipe it down with our the disinfectants that we use in our operatory, or do you think just soap and water is enough to, to really disinfect it? it? It's just like your hands. Soap and water is adequate. If you want to over you can add a disinfect bowl of soap and water and soak it and, uh, and then take it off and rinse it really well and you'll be fine. It's just like uh, uh, any countertop that Pardon me? How long, I, I how long would that. you suggest soaking it for? How long would you suggest oh, soaking 15, it for? 20, 15 minutes. Okay. Okay. So that's something yeah. we could do. Okay. 
you can do yourself. You right. get a lot, Everything. a lot of use out of a tube. Uh, maybe when you buy one, you might want to order a couple extra tubes. Uh, they're cheap. They're a couple bucks uh, on the website. So they're uh, all, all my accessories are very cheap. And, and so you can replace them if, okay. uh, with little effort and cost. All right. Awesome. Mm. And um, how long would the tubing, would you say, in a no normal circumstance last? Oh, it'll, it, it could last a year, literally. Oh, wow. It's, okay. Uh, uh, if you're not yanking on it or breaking it or, or being rough with it, it'll last a long time. Uh, everyone's going to find their favorite way of wearing it. I see a different way of wearing it each time. Sometimes people will clip it to their collar and have the tube come around the other side and slip into their mask, and it doesn't put any weight on the tube, any any pressure on the tube. Or if you want to uh, wear it with a lanyard around your neck, it keeps the tube nice and straight, and there's no kinks in it or anything. Uh, I, I'm actually... Um, always improving on the uh, on the accessories too. I'm sourcing another unit that make a little more durable too. Uh, I'm trying to stick to uh, medical grade uh, um, tubing, but that's just for the medical profession. Um, we we can find tubing for the average person that doesn't use it in the, in, in your environment uh, that could be a little more user friendly, uh, but. The, I haven't had a lot of uh, issues with the tube breaking or ripping. Uh, people uh, have been pretty creative how they wear it. Uh, you just don't want to, you know, pull on it too hard. It's it's like any uh, medical uh, equipment. Just, you know, treat it like you right. would anything you didn't want to break. Mm -hmm. I think extra tubing is probably a good thing for us. And like we were saying earlier, if you could put it between your scrubs and your jacket, then it's not as exposed to all it's of the exposed. environment. So, yeah. So I think that that you know, as long as your jacket is loose enough. I've had some ideas of uh, um, putting a cloth over it, like a uh, tubing of a cloth over it. And then you could take that cloth and throw it in the wash. And uh, th that would help protect it too. So there's a few other things we're constantly improving, constantly getting better. And that was just a, an idea based on what question you had. How can we make the tubing last longer and how do, how do we have to wash it less or make it more yeah. convenient to work? Well, that's, it's all good. We're all brainstorming together. And, you know, it's, it's knowing the specific niches of the environment too that, that help with all of that. But Siobhan just well, that, uh, said, she just had a great comment. She said, it's it's all worth it for a healthier working environment. And I could not agree more. Well, your feedback from the people who use my product every day is what makes the changes. And uh, anytime you drop me a note saying, I would, you know, if you only did this, it would be so much better or whatever. That really helps me. And I listen and uh, we talk about it in the factory. How can we do this? We go to our suppliers and say, hey, make this spring better. Uh, you'll notice in the tube, there's a spring at the end because there was a crinking at the end was more bound to crink uh, and, and bend. So we added the spring and it took away the problem right away. And that was a suggestion from someone who wore it every day. So uh, it's not like, I, I haven't left home in five months, so I can't say I'm wearing my easy flow every day, but you guys have to do it for a living and uh, that's the ones I'm listening to. Right, well that's awesome and I hope that all of our viewers that end up being uh, customers will then share feedback with you too in the future so that you can keep on innovating and sharing the love and making this even better. It's, I, I just, again, want to thank you for, you know, your heart, number one, because this idea came from your heart. And I think that that's astounding. And now who knew seven years later, like you had said earlier, that now you're, you're, product is in such a huge demand and, and just needed by everyone. So I think some of the knowledge bombs we got tonight, uh, viewers, if you agree with me, hashtag it in the comment box was um, just hashtag respect, you know, wearing that mask is showing respect. And, um, you know, our, our ability to then just take some of this pressure off while we're treating our patients and we're in clinical. So if you feel like this is going to make your clinical life easier, easier hashtag in the chat box easier for me and 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 i want to also say hashtag thank you so thank you michael for 
just creating this product and and sharing your time with us and sharing this invention with us and and you're definitely helping so many people it's just astounding and and i'm just so grateful to you so thank you so much for being here with us tonight um, if you have any questions or are, if how are how can our users get in touch with you? Is is there um, an ability to get in touch with you through your website? Absolutely. You go to my website and go under contact us and give me your question. We'll respond immediately. Um, Excellent. Customer service. Uh, my my family's been with me. All my kids are involved in this, and uh, they've been in it for seven years. They know more than most people who ever learn and, and we answer all our questions and uh, uh, we don't go to bed at night until every question is answered. So uh, feel free to ask any question. Well, thank you so much. We so appreciate your time and, and being here with us this evening. And thank, thank you again for our special code for us. It's DH10 is our code. So make sure that you're using that too. Um, when so you can get your 10% off of um, your easy flow order. So thank you again, uh, Michael. Thank you so much for your time. And, and thank you to Sarah, too, for all the help getting us set up for tonight's show. Um, I just want to let everybody know that we have um, a great show lined up for next week. We have Sarah Ziegler of Hygienics coming on, and we're going to tackle some tough questions on uh, the ethics of working right now and and don't sleep through this revolution because we got a revolution going on. So uh, Michael, again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sharing this product with us. And we really appreciate your time. And, and most of all, thank you for the code and, and sharing that too with us. So well, this is, uh, is going to do it for us do. tonight. Oh, thank you. We appreciate okay. that. We thank love you very much doing it. We love sharing. Thank you so much. Everybody have a great night with love and compassion. We'll see you next week.